we're, we're here with Brother Bob Sheeler, who is the head of Canada and the United States for the Christian Brothers. And we want to welcome you here to Santa Fe. Thank you. It's nice to be here. It's been a wonderful time in these last couple of days. Great. Tell us a little about you and uh, what your job is currently. Well, I serve on the Christian Brothers General Council in Rome. Uh, we are eight counselors uh, helping our superior general, Brother Alvaro, uh, who uh, have responsibility for schools in 82 countries around the world. My particular responsibilities are at uh, the United States and English-speaking Canada, where we have today 100 schools, uh, mostly secondary schools throughout the country, seven universities, a number of programs for court-adjudicated young men, and several retreat centers. We also have a new movement uh, called the San Miguel Movement, in which these are elementary schools, uh, actually middle schools, uh, for uh, Latino, African Americans in the inner city. Uh, where there's very little tuition, but it's our commitment to urban education, which has been part of our heritage from the beginning when we were founded in 1680 in France by St. John Baptist de La Salle. Okay. What uh, do you see the future of the brothers to be in this country and in Canada? We will, uh, we will continue to be in education. I mean, that is why we were founded. We were the first order of brothers only. There are no priests in our order because our founder, St. LaSalle, felt the importance of education as a ministry uh, to announce and be instruments of salvation to young people. So we will continue to do that. One of the blessings of the present time, of course, while there may be not as many brothers as there were at one time, there's great collaboration with lay people, lay teachers in our schools throughout the country, throughout Canada, in which they see their work not merely as a profession, but as a vocation in the church and a service uh, to God and to the Spirit uh, through education. And, and we've had tremendous uh, opportunities in terms of formation programs for our lay teachers. They've embraced them uh, enthusiastically and will continue to do that. What are the future of the different provinces? Well, we are continue to uh, bring restructuring to the various uh, provinces. Uh, two years ago, our three East Coast provinces have uh, merged into one. Uh, it's called the District of Eastern North America. Uh, currently, conversation is going on between this province, New Orleans Santa Fe province, and our province in San Francisco to collaborate as one new reality. And regionally, uh, we're in conversation with French-speaking counties. Canada. Uh, in fact, on May 19th of next year, French-speaking Canada and our region, which is called the United States Toronto region, will become one region uh, for North America, with certainly apologies to Mexico and Central America, which, you know, part of the North American continent. Tell us, who are the, the future brothers going to be? Well, uh, fortunately, we still have young men considering our life. Uh, just this past August, four young men completed what we call the novitiate uh, out in Napa, California. And just two weeks ago, I was in Philadelphia, where we have five young men entering the first stage of their formation to become uh, De La Salle Christian Brothers, called the postulancy. And we continue to be actively uh, uh, promoting the vocation to the brothers and, and uh, meeting with young men throughout the country. Say one word to those young men. It's a great life. Uh, it's, it's an incredibly rewarding life. And the reality is uh, all of our plans as we join uh, this work, what we think we were going to do doesn't happen, and yet it's even more rewarding. I joined to be, uh, I thought I would spend my life being a modern European history teacher in an urban high school. I haven't done that since 1978. But I've been able to uh, encounter the needs of education throughout the world because of the various responsibilities I've been given. So it's uh, come and see, and it's worth a commitment of your life.